Hello, welcome back to the next installment in our video series on UC9. Today we're going to look at Enterprise Licensing Manager, or ELM for short. Right? What is ELM? Well, let's, in order to understand that, we kind of have to understand the licensing history and how we got to where we are. So let's start with that. So back in the days of Call Manager 3 and 4, I'd buy a phone, I'd buy a paper license, I would ins install and configure my phone and Call Manager, and life was good. When I get to the 5 and 6 world, I, I um, upgrade to, from Windows to Linux, and I start using device license units. A particular model of phone took an amount of DLU. So if I bought DLUs in blocks, and I had a phone like a 7940 series, 40 series takes 4 DLUs. If I had 100 of those, I would need 400 DLUs in order to make those work. So over time, we went from paper to a DLU based. Then we moved into cool licensing or workspace licensing model. So in the ELM, we move into an enforcement model on the back end. So what is ELM? It's a central licensing manager for all of your licenses within Call Manager, Unity Connection, and Presence. It's one single either service on Call Manager and Unity or a separate server that enforces all my licenses. So I can support those three applications today with more applications coming in the future. So why do I care about that? Well, it gives me better license tracking. If you look in a system today and it's running 8.x, a call manager world, I've got blocks of DLUs. What does that map back to? That's kind of hard to figure out in an 8.x world. So, in the 9.x, I move into the Enterprise License Manager. When I license a user, I license them based on what I bought. If I bought a cool standard user who's entitled to those applications, Call Manager, Unity, Presence, the applications then will be licensed for that particular user. Instead of having a DLU on Call Manager, a voicemail on Unity Connection, and my hooks over into Presence, I've got one central licensing manager. Does that make sense? Cool. So let's talk about other things that I get out of this. License tier, tiering and license pooling. What do I mean by that? If I have a bunch of presence users that I've licensed for and I've installed somebody that I don't necessarily need all the features of the pro, but I have a license available, I can tier that license. So a standard user can use a pro license until I get more standard users in. I can start scaling my licenses. I can also pool them between different call managers in different clusters. Within ELM, I can manage one cluster or multiple clusters. I can share licenses between the nodes. Another thing that I'm going to get out of that, on per cluster, let's say I've got a, a cluster here in US and I've got a cluster in the UK, for example. Well, as I buy licenses, putting them into ELM, they pool across those two clusters. That kind of makes sense? Okay. Well, let's talk about um, new installations of UC9. That's pretty straightforward. I install Call Manager Publisher, he comes up with ELM as a service, I can either run him on that Call Manager or I can put him on a separate box. As I bought Call Manager 9, I bought the licenses for it, I install it into ELM and life is good. I have everything that I need. What about if I'm upgrading? A little more tricky on that guy. So if I'm going to upgrade, first question that comes to mind, how many licenses do I have? As we said, in the pre-9 world, everything was DLU-based. So if I look in my call manager server, I've got blocks of DLUs. How do they map across? How do I figure out what I've got? First thing you want to do is use the user count tool. The user count tool is a Java app, goes out and queries your database and returns information. How many DLUs have you got? How many users have you got? If a user has multiple devices associated with him, he's going to assume that he's a cool user. If he's got one device associated with him, he's going to assume that he's a user connect enhanced user. Okay? At the end of that, I'm going to end up with a pool of unused DLUs, assuming you've got some left over. You've got the ability then to go through and assign those DLUs. Take those blocks and turn them into user connect, either enhanced or enhanced plus, or cool licensing based on what you purchased. The next step, once I've done that, how do I migrate now? Now that I know what I have, how do I migrate it over? 
as you install Call Manager 9, ELM is part of that installation. You're going to take your user come tool, from that, you're going to determine what, you're, you, what you are currently entitled to. We're going to create a migration request containing that upgrade information. We're going to upload that to Cisco. Cisco is then going to return you via email your license. So in a nutshell, user count tool, determine what's out there. Assign what it is that I'm looking for, 100 cool, uh, 200 um, enhanced, whatever you've purchased in the past. Make sure your DLUs line up. We're going to use the migration wizard and create a license migration request. Upload that into Cisco, who then gives you a license file. You install that in your new cluster. You are now on Enterprise License Manager. Does that make sense? Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.